ton of quartz. And it's, so that's why it's a one ton mine. But now, out of this one ton of quartz, they have to get at least one ounce of gold to break even back then. After they've processed it and dug it out of the mountain and processed it, they have to get an ounce to break even here. And do you know how big an ounce? Now, if you crushed, uh, compacted an ounce of gold into a cube, it would be a half inch on edge. Basically, the size of a sugar cube is an ounce of gold. Wow. Huh. So, so that was their break even point. They're hoping to get two or four ounces, but uh, one ounce they would keep reluctantly working on that, that pocket. Yeah, and hope they got some more. Yeah, I do. I'll wait till he's done with that. Okay. Yeah, this device here is a uh, is a hoist bucket. This oh yeah, yeah. Called this. Okay. Um, I refer to it though as a pre OSHA elevator. <laughs> they would ride this two men at a time into the depths. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now two at a time. <laughs> One on each side, guess, now, yeah. <laughs> but they weren't that cozy. They would straddle the bucket. They would have one uh. leg out and drive them down to their end of the depths there. So, but they would ride down into the depths to one of uh, five tunnels. Uh, they would access off that vertical shaft. Wow. They would go into the, that tunnel and, and, and dig out quartz, fill the bucket with quartz, and then signal the hoist man to bring it out of the shaft. So when it would come out of the shaft and get dumped in the mine cart, and once the, the mine cart was filled with a ton of quartz, they would give it a shove. This thing would then roll all the way out of the mine. Wow. So they, they, always, they always came the tracks down to the exit, so they never had to push the whole mine cart up there. They learned that on their first day. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all that quartz well, right there, babe. Guys, hey, this is a quarter mile round trip, and we go through mile. two mines today. We go all the way through the Eagle Mine and into the back of the High Peak Mine. Cool. So, uh, and we'll come out yeah, on the other side here. of the hill here uh, uh, through the High Peak Mine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sweet. Awesome. All right, I'm ready to go too, and let's see. And they're trying to. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, guys, that, that'll give me an opportunity to uh, tell you about this real quick. If anybody's cold, you can step in the mine. The, this mountain is uh, a, a piece of, of ancient seafloor. It's 160 to 170 million year old uh, ocean floor Whoa. that collided, was part of the ocean floor that collided with the, the continental the North American plate. So the collision caused the uh, North American plate to hop on top because it was lighter. They, uh, the the seafloor subducted, and about a thousand miles of seafloor subducted under the North American wow. plate. That's crazy. Well, that created a giant. As it as it went into the uh, the crust, it melted into magma. That magma created giant pockets. Uh, they called plutons. Now, so there's giant pockets of magma that slowly <laughs> cooled about two miles underground into uh, granite. That granite slowly made its way to the surface and is the terrain we have. All, all uh, the boulder, all the granite throughout the that. East County and all the way down to Baja mm -hmm. through the Santa Ana Mountains is, is a, a result of that event. So that's wow. where we get those granite boulders. Wow. 
Well, Very this cool. piece of seafloor yeah, never super melted. Cool. It never made it deep enough to melt, but it was entrapped in the magma, and it got baked. So it it, came, it rose with the granite. Oh. So this is like a six mile long by mile wide chunk of seafloor that didn't, wow. um, you know, came back up. So it's metamorphosed huh. because of the heat from the magma. Contact metamorphosed. Well, okay, so it's coming out of the dips and it fractures as it, it depressurizes. So it, it, it depressurizes, it fractures along the sedimentary lines. Well, the, the magma is filled with water because it's melted seafloor. So uh, water coming out of the magma is actually a solution, superheated solution of silica uh, or, or quartz that's mm. then forcing its way into those fractures. Okay. The pockets oh, of quartz. Things. So as it cools, it, it congeals into the quartz. Yeah. So that's what cool, we need. That's wow. what the pockets of quartz, that's what all this I comes from. Alrighty, huh? Those people are thinking the time, folks. So, yeah, <laughs> alrighty, we're going to have to burn the table. Water. Um, I'm going to go through the magma. Alrighty. So, last right. thing I'd like to point out as we go in, notice. The shape. Oh, I'm gonna get my flashlight. Notice the shape of the mine as we go in. It's an arched ceiling as we go in. That rock is arched. You don't know that's where they're using hand tools to make their way in. Picks and shovels and hammers and chisels. Later on, you'll see it angled and fractured, open and rough. That's where it's uh, been blasted as we go in. So, all right, folks. Let me grab my flashlight. And we'll get going.